Now I've often heard that TV license goons sometimes leave a leaflet when they come knocking at your door and of course they don't get an answer. And if you have ever wondered what one looks like then you're about to find out. Let's begin. Okay, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Luke for sending this in. Apparently they knocked on his door twice in one day just to try and catch him out. But both times I'm guessing he didn't answer the door because he got this leaflet. Okay, as usual, it starts with the TV license logo and in a big red box to make you a bit worried maybe. Our records show your property has no TV license and in slightly bigger letters, I visited today to find out why. Which to me kind of comes across as them saying that we're really important. As important maybe as the police I'm guessing. You have not replied to our letters so my visit today was the next stage, should that be is the next stage, get your grammar right, of the official investigation into why your address doesn't have a TV license. Then in big bold red again, don't risk a prosecution. And a fine of up to £1,000. God they're getting that in early aren't they? They usually leave that till halfway down the letter but not today. I guess and they really want to come across as frightening. You're risking breaking the law if you watch or record live TV programs on any channel or device or download or watch BBC programs on iPlayer without a TV license. The maximum penalty is £1,000 fine. You just told us that. Plus any legal costs slash or compensation you may be ordered to pay. And that looks like it's word for word the same as on their letters. It's just a bit of copy and paste all the way down so far, isn't it? To stop this investigation, act now. Well, no, actually, we don't need to act now if we don't need a TV license. And it comes across here as if you've got two options, but actually you have three, and I'll get to that in a minute. Option number one is you can buy a TV license, which is their obviously a preferred option. To buy a license, go to this web address or transfer a current license, which is obviously if you're moving house. And it just seems like that's your two options, doesn't it? But there is a third option, which they've put in just plain text below, which I'm guessing they hope you missed that. If your property doesn't need a license or is currently unoccupied, go to this web address. We may still need to confirm this with another visit. Or well, aren't they getting a hint or something because they just left this on a visit? Surely it doesn't take too much brain power for them to realise that they're not going to answer the door. Although I guess there's always a chance that the person may have been out. But probably not if they've tried twice like in this case at different times of the day. If you don't take action we will continue our investigation. Investigate away! My door won't be open to you, I'm afraid. You can find out more information about our enforcement and prosecution. Ooh, that's a scary word they've just added into it, isn't it? At this web address. TV license enforcement officer with no name. Where's your name and squiggle? You know, your little signature, the, the fake printed on one that Jane Jeffers and all the other ones seem to do. But I'm guessing this guy must be a robot or something because he has no name. Ways to pay your license in red to make it nice and easy for you to spot. You can pay all in one go with a debit or credit card if you're rich maybe. Or buy a cheque who uses them nowadays. And you can also pay in cash at your nearest pay point, which I'm surprised they didn't say from £6 a week because they usually do don't they? Even though they do know that that is the most expensive option. They've got a nice little direct debit logo there just to say that is a way you can pay and go to this web address for that or or you can apply for a TV license payment card by calling this number and you can pay weekly fortnightly or monthly at your nearest pay point. Well thanks for that, that's actually really handy to know. You know, I don't know about you, but I really love it when companies who I'm obviously not a customer of send me their junk mail and tell me how to pay them when obviously I don't need to, so thanks. Although I can think of one good use for this letter and that is because I need the toilet, so I'll see you next time. But before I go, if you want to be kept up to date, remember to click that subscribe button down there so you don't miss my next video.